redneck treatment, normally you're going to have a long neck. At least we do in this part of the country. Sometimes you have a short mask, and if you do have a short mask, you're going to have, have to make sure that you have a way to get the shoulders retracted inferiorly in the same way every day. For expediency's sake, we're going to use this long mask that when it goes on to the patient, it actually holds their shoulders and their head in the same position each and every day. If you're treating with IMRT, this becomes a very easy setup. You do a three-point setup, set your vertical, and then perform your IGR, IGRT, and then perform your IMRT treatment, and you're done. If you're treating a three-field, 3D head and neck, which is kind of an old-fashioned way to do it, it becomes a lot more complicated. You're not going to see those as often anymore, but knowing the concepts behind that is important on several aspects, including the fact that the ASR, ARRT still has it on their competencies, so you still have to be exposed to it. So we're going to teach you basically how we used to do it. And you may still be exposed to this. You may still be centers out there that are using a three-field match line the technique. Normally speaking, whenever you have a three-field head and neck, you're going to have two laterals and an AP superclap. Normally, that AP superclap, just like with the breast treatment, is going to have a part of the beam closed down to zero. In this particular case, it is Y2 is closed to zero. It creates a non-diverging aspect of the beam at the superior edge of your treatment field. The superclab treatment field will take place from about the widths of the clavicles down to the suprasternal notch and up to about the thyroid prominence is a nice general way to think about it. Those actual borders can change depending on what area of the head and neck is being treated, but we're going to treat this as kind of a generalized head and neck treatment. So I've already got this set up. You're going to use a three field, a three point setup technique, but you also are going to set such that your CR is in the middle of the neck and here at the plus side. Okay, you're gonna line up to your CR. You can see that the field size has been moved such that the superior portion of it is closed all the way down to the CR. So you're actually lining up to the edge of the field. You're gonna set your depth, whatever that may be, and you can see that your treatment's going to take place right in through here. Now, we've already got match lines drawn on this, but what you want to do once you have the patient lined up is if, if you've got a long mask, a lot of times it's going to line up such as what you see here. Yesterday's marks show up, but we're off a little bit right there, so we're going to add some dashes today because yesterday we did dots. You're going to match line all the way across so that you can line this to the laterals. So now we've got our match lines, we've got our depth set, we're gonna go out and we're gonna treat this.